Okay, guys, so Darylin got me like these, it's kind of like a wet rubber band or what rubber band that you make wet. Someone said donuts. Donuts for my babe. Marilyn just uh, went out to Oregon and got. Drove straight through the night. Got new teeth. They're fake. They're the yeah. temporaries. Oh, okay. Oh, because he's making the molds. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so she got new teeth and she brought donuts all the way from Oregon. And I just drove 12 hours straight. Yep. Good times. <laughs> I'm going to eat all of them. Julian doesn't You're get in there. Show them what they are. Oh, dang, those look sick. They kind of got messed up, but. Okay, so this one right here has a little hot pepper in it. Super spicy. This is some like coconut, pina colada, some crap. Hawaiian, it's. Yeah, Hawaiian Got something. a leaf on it. That one's got bacon. That's not a leaf, that's an umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> this one is maple bacon. They kind of got messed up. I just drove 12 hours, all right? Give me a break. And that one is a Boston cream, but they call it a Portland cream. And there is also a maple cream, but we gave it to one of the gas tenants. Look at all the donuts. Yeah, this one. Julian's out there working on. Julian's out there working on one of the new cars. Just got in. Sometimes he's gonna dance it. Dance it. Oh, okay. Donut time. Have donuts without your milk. Someone's got the Coke smash if there wasn't milk. Julian, now you can't say that I never bring snacks when you're here. Forget of that. You gotta talk way loud because it's just a shock. Julian, now you can never say that I don't bring snacks when you're not here. I've been working here for like. That I don't bring snacks when you are. You know what I'm saying? Just eat the donut! Jelly. Ah, that's boring. But you like jelly. Okay guys, so good way to start off the morning. Yeah, Julian's here. As soon as you pulled in, I was like right behind oh, you. So we're dropping off Julian's car to get an alignment. Uh, I can't see crap because I went to the eye doctor this morning and got my eyes dilated. So I just see like blurry objects, which is kind of weird that you go to the eye doctor for them to check your eyes and make sure they're good, but then your eyes are bad when you leave. So we'll head in here and get everything organized. So while Julian is inside, I'm just out here getting a walk around. Fixing the mic. Get a walk around of his car. Because a lot of you said that you wanted to see that. So he's got to raise up this side. Look at that, that is on coils. Like, people with bags don't even ride that low. So props to Julian for that. If I could get more camera, I would leave it that low. Cause uh, it's bugging me that it rubs every time right there. It's like, it bugs. Like, I mean, I don't mind it having it that low, but it bugs that it's rubbing. It's annoying. Yeah, this thing's really dirty. But um, we're gonna head back to the shop now and get some work done. Oh, and look at the new addition that Julian did. Check out that wing and the wing up there. So sick. Okay, back to the shop. It is now later in the day. I can finally see again. That dilation of my eyes was all weird and crap. But good news, guys. 250 is back from the frame shop. Awesome. The radiator support is on there. And I got a new toy to use tool a toy tool um, my brother told me about this a while ago and I looked it up because I saw comments from some of you to try this on this thing because it smells like smoke the ozone generator it's by mammoth um, don't know the part number oh, 3500 oh no oh I think mine was 7000 was the part number for it 
but let me take it out of this box put it up here that was almost impossible to do one-handed cool there's that So I'm actually, I like this. It's just a simple little fan with filters in there. Um, and I'm gonna put it in there for, I don't know, 60 minutes. 60 minutes was good enough for the TV show. It's good enough for me. Here's the wire, I'm gonna plug it in and then go to town. It is crazy hot in here. Car's been sitting outside with the windows up. Okay, so door's not 100% shut, windows aren't 100% shut, but I think that may work. Maybe I'll roll up the windows just to be sure. It's been over an hour, so time to get inside here and see what is going on. It smells really bad. It honestly, it smells like a, a sauna, like mixture of chlorine, salt, and Freon, maybe? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but it smells bad, whatever it is. But now that the Q50 is back, it's go time. There is so much stuff over in, oh crap. There's, just put my feet in floor dry. There's so much stuff over in that corner. Like look at the boxes, they're as high as the, the uh, Civic is. What? Uh, yeah, <laughs> the boxes are taller than Julian. Julian, go stand over by the boxes. All of these parts are going on the Q50 and it's going to be like rapid fire now that that thing is back from the frame shop. Um, and by rapid fire, I mean it's going to be rapid fire once these other cars are done. Because like I said, these other cars fund the fun builds that I have. Because we know that you guys don't. Buy some freaking merch. Oh yeah, in addition to the gang, I got a G35 sedan. Uh, that Nissan life, for real. So uh, wish us luck on that rebuild and stay tuned for whatever is in that pallet box contraption back there. And that being said, thank you for your support. Uh, and being patient, waiting for the Q50, waiting for the Titan, waiting for me to upload and stop procrastinating and enjoying life to its fullest. I hope you guys are having a good time wherever in the world you live and I will see you guys on the next one. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure my camera died somewhere in that jumble of words. Um, but this interior smells so bad, I'm gonna try to cover it up with Otoban. Chemicals, chemicals save everything.
Look at that guy on there. Like, what is that? Is he a 55 gallon drum with some steroided out arms? Okay, um, so that's that.